The country's biggest fishing company says it's possible historical bottom trawling in the Hauraki Gulf has contributed to snapper starving and fillets becoming mushy and white. However, Sanford says it's more likely that increased runoff from land due to expanding urbanisation is to blame. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. One of Sanford's trawl boats rolling into dock, the company's been fishing in New Zealand waters since 1865 and it rejects the assertion that bottom contact fishing has caused chronic malnutrition in snapper, leading to mushy white fillets. To suggest that is the cause of this, um, I think is, is uh, sort of a, a long bow to draw. Not a cause, but possibly a contributing factor. Yes, there is potential that historical practices um, from fishing, any sort of contact, bottom contact may have impacted there. For example, green lip mussel beds, one of the shellfish snapper eat, used to cover 500 square kilometres of the inner gulf. But they were fished to what's known as total loss between 1920 and 1960. But Peter Longdill thinks land use issues are more relevant when considering the problems with snapper. Urbanisation, massive land use change in these catchments and all of the runoff from those urban areas running into the water body. Sanford says most of the fish caught with the white flaky fleshes from the inner gulf. It no longer trawls there and claims the areas where it fishes outside the red lines in this map are safe. Like I said, you're trawling over the top of featureless sand and mud. But, right, but, but where's the evidence of that? You're not providing me with video to prove that, or have you got some? Oh, there is, there is some available, yeah, you could search it up on YouTube. We were referred to this edited three-minute clip put together by commercial industry group Seafood New Zealand. But MPI is clear, bottom trawling does have an impact. And we recognise fishing does have an impact on the environment. That's why we're looking to limit it to some really specific and discrete areas. It was back in June 2021 that a plan was announced to improve the health of the Hauraki Gulf. This included a plan to restrict bottom trawling to what the government termed special corridors. But almost two years on, there's still no clarity as to where or how big these so-called corridors will be. MPI says it's working on it. We haven't worked up the options for those yet. That science work is underway and we're looking to consult on that later this year. Slow progress and possibly too slow to reverse the fortunes of New Zealand's most frequented marine park and our favourite fish. Michael Mora, News Hub.